What's going on everybody? This is going to be an intense and amazing fight here with Donald Cowboy Cerrone versus the Immortal Matt Brown in the co-main event at UFC 206 on pay-per-view on the main card. It is going to be insane when these two go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Every second is going to be awesome and intense and I've loved this fight ever since they announced it and I have just like been freaking out I, and it's almost here. It's a matter of like hours and it'll be happening as it's Thursday night now and it's going down Saturday night. It's going to be awesome. So let's get to the prediction without a further ado, and then we'll get into a couple things here with the preview. So I'm going with Donald Cowboy Cerrone to win it by submission in the third round. I believe it's going to go three brutal rounds, and in the middle of the third round or toward the end of it, we're going to see Cerrone pick up a submission victory over Matt Brown. I like Matt Brown. I want Matt Brown to win. I'm a fan of his, uh, but I believe Cowboy Cerrone's skills are going to take him on to win. And you know, when you look at Cerrone's record, uh, well, first, real quick, Cerrone is actually ranked number five in the welterweight division already uh, on a three fight win streak, and Matt Brown is ranked number 14 right now, as Matt Brown has fallen off a cliff. Uh, you know, so right now, uh, Donald Cerrone is on a three-fight win streak and has three finishes, all of them, in the welterweight division as he beat Alex Oliveira by a triangle choke, uh, Patrick Cote by TKO, Rex Story by TKO. His last loss was to the f now former lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos by TKO in the first round, which I was like, what the fuck happened? Like, when I watched it, I was like, nah, nah. <laughs> I was not happy, uh, but he was on a tear before that, you know, and it's just crazy. I would like to someday see Dos Anjos be, uh, could do give Cowboy Cerrone a rematch in the welterweight division and see what happens then. I think that would be an interesting fight, and I think Cerrone would actually win that one. Now, for Matt Brown, he, in his last five fights in the welterweight division, he is 1-4. and four. Wow. I like, I couldn't believe it when he lost to Jake Ellenberger. I was like, what the fuck? No! When Damian Maia kept taking him down and backpacking him and being a ninja on the back, turning him into be a... Damian Maia is like Yoda when he takes your back. He'll just choke your ass out eventually. And he beat the Dirty Bird Tim Means by guillotine choke, though, which was awesome. But he couldn't defeat Joni Hendricks, and he couldn't defeat Robbie Lawler uh, when he lost to both of them by unanimous decision. But he did beat Eric Silva, Mike Pyle, Jordan Ming, Mike Swick... Louis Ramos, Stephen Thompson, the Wonder Boy, uh, wow, and uh, Chris Cope, you know, so he does have, there was a time when he was on a tear, uh, it seems like when he is losing, he loses, you know what I mean, I mean, obviously when you lose, you lose, but he has quite a few times where he has losing streaks, but then he comes back and he goes on a tear of winning, so it is possible he could shine bright like a star and end up defeating Donald Cerrone, but I think Cerrone's going to pick up the W and move up the Walter Wade ranks. I would love to see Cerrone versus Tyron Woodley at some point. That would be epic. Uh, so let me know down in the comment section, do you agree with me with Donald Cerrone winning this one by submission in the third round? Uh, you know, part of why I think he's going to win by submission is because when you look at Matt Brown's losses, ten times he's lost by submission. He's lost four times by decision, once by KOTKO. Uh, you know, Donald Cerrone could be the second guy to finish him by KOTKO, but I think it's going to be his 11th loss by submission. And Donald Cerrone has a ton of submission wins with 16. And I believe it'll be his 17th win by submission instead of his 8th win by KOTKO. You know what I mean? So let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me down in the comment section. Be amazing and punch that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like my prediction of a submission victory for Donald Cerrone and punch that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.